Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I am running out the door right now because we are on our way to our second dance lesson. Jack scheduled, what is this? How many more do we have? Like two more, one more? Well, this is part of the deal. I haven't scheduled the other oh. five to 10. Well, we have to buy more, but I think this first package included the first initial dance, second dance, which is what we're doing now. It's two dance lessons and one dance social. Oh, dance social. Oh, I forgot my ring. Yeah. Oh, baby. Should we go back? Poor Oakley. It's gonna be so sad because I'm teasing her right now, but I just need to get got her good. My camera is so dirty right now. All is well in the world. Got the ring on the way to the dance lesson. Then after we're going straight to watch two of Jack's coworkers play, um, like at a bar, they're playing music. So piano, got guitar. So we're gonna go support them. So it's a busy post work afternoon, net evening, whatever you wanna call it. But I'm gonna see if our dance instructors will film a little bit of our dance. I don't know if we're gonna even be doing like the choreography or whatever they have in mind for our first dance, but I think these are just like the basic steps we're learning to then be able to get to that part of being able to choreograph some stuff. But we're hoping to keep taking some lessons. We're hoping that we have some sort of something for the first dance. I mean, we're still like a year away. It's like this time next year, actually, like around, around this time ballparking. So, uh, one year down one to go. And, um, hopefully this time next year we'll be Dancing pros, maybe we can be on Dancing with the Stars, baby. Dang, would I be? I would be the star. <laughs> So because of copyright, this is not the song that we were actually dancing to, but it was a swing style song. So I figured to just pull this one off of the music website that I use for my YouTube channel. So anyways, it was so fun. We did not learn any of the choreography for our first dance. This is just basic moves. And we did decide that we are going to continue with the dance lessons, but probably push them a little closer towards the wedding. And they're gonna help choreograph everything um, and teach us everything. So we're gonna have a nice first dance for the wedding. But these classes are so fun fun and it's such a fun date night. Good morning, another day in paradise here in the Hudson Valley. We are heading to the gym. It is Saturday. I woke up at like 6.30 and then I, I said no, I'm going back to bed and then it was 9.45 and now it's 10.28 and so we're getting a little bit of a late start but it's okay. We're getting it in and that's all that matters and it's not even going to be this like crazy long thing because we have a friend's baby shower to go to. We were supposed to go at one. Then I was, I texted our friends in the group chat. I'm like, can we push it to two? Because I also ran out of my foundation. So I'm not gonna go like this, you know? I mean, I could, I really could. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm gonna go buy some foundation. So we got a couple things to do. We're gonna go have a nice little workout. Jack's doing back day. Yeah, we do some back pull-ups, deadlifts, uh, different variations of rows. My butt's starting to feel a little better. So oh yeah, be the big first. update. People keep asking how you're doing. Let them know. <clears throat> so I did my first workout this week. Um, it was still a little tense, but then I did, and that, that, that was a run. My second workout was uh, kind of a chest focused weightlifting workout. And for the most part, that was good. Um, there's just one part in the warm up where I have like a sit up component where I kind of roll over the tailbone that I didn't feel completely at 100%, so I didn't do those. Um, and today I'm, you know, again, gonna take it easy. I'm just looking for blood flow, not looking to go all out uh, just yet. Just trying to get back in the gym and pick it up, so. Pick it up and put it down. That's as easy, it's easy as that, but no, he's doing well, thankfully. It's been about two, three weeks, two, a oh, month. Oh, why did I think it was like two weeks? Thanks. No, yeah, 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 because it was like two weeks since I, before I started the new job. Yeah, okay, so it's been like a month. So these tailbone injuries are no joke. So I appreciate all your guys. It'll, it'll be a month this Wednesday. Yes. Well, because it happened on the 14th because we spent the night of your birthday in the ER because it was like midnight on the 14th. So the doctor was like, how old are you? And he's like 30 today. <laughs> um, yeah, tailbone injuries are no joke. Those are painful. So I appreciate everyone who's been asking like how he's doing. We're getting there every day. We're chipping away, and at least we're 
getting back in the gym, so that's good. So, okay, let's go to the gym. I might take you guys through the workout. I'll do a quick little rendition, like maybe like 10 seconds of each exercise, throw a cute little sound underneath, let's go. come to the gym there's always like a red truck well there's one red trail boss which is this the front one is jack's car or jack's truck right here but then there's another one that's parked right by him but this one's not the trail boss but they i love how trucks just do this like they just gotta park next to each other like they're friends look at this and it makes jack so excited it's nice, it's nice. he says it's nice <laughs> well the gym is done we did we kind of did a little bit different stuff than what we originally intended on doing. We did more back stuff, and then I did some squats at the end, and Jack did like a a dumbbell or not a dumbbell, a kettlebell swing thingy. Sure. Yeah, but I didn't. I don't. I don't love kettlebell swings. Posterior I feel chain. posterior chain. I feel like kettlebell swings really hurt my lower back. I've never perfected the craft, so I personally don't do those. Um, so I did a couple other things, and we ended it on the treadmill. And now we are on the way to go get my foundation. It's 11.47. I need to be at a baby shower by two, but we still have to shower, make breakfast, look nice, like not like this, but yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Showing you guys my Sephora haul, like haul is in two things, but I just got my favorite Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. This is the one I've been using since I was a news reporter. Um, I constantly, well not constantly, but like every now and then I get questions on like some of the products I use. So this is not sponsored in any way. Like I totally paid for all this, but wanted to show you guys because I swear by this one. My friend Alexa in Cincinnati, miss her. She used this one and put me on this because I used to use the Tarte foundation, but then they changed the formula and I didn't like it. So I use the color natural beige and then they have another one like this that's not matte, but on TV, we always used matte stuff and then I've just kind of stuck with it. And then I saw my favorite lip gloss there. So I just got another one, like as you, I use this stuff, like I have another two here, but this one particularly is my favorite over the other color I have. It's focused, Outrageous Intense. That's the best one. It like super plumps your lips, it's 13 bucks. And what, they've just put this in my Sephora bag. They're doing like the Sephora collection 30% off, which I should have got this next week because I usually try to stock, stock up on my Sephora brand stuff when they have this sale. They run it like every year. So that's one to go. But I also have this color. It's more of a nude one and it doesn't look this color on. I would show you, but I'm literally about to shower right now, but I'll show you guys later. Usually in my videos, I'm wearing one or two of these and I like the, I just wanted to get one of these and like keep it in my desk at work. So that's why I have that. And then I try to put them in my purse. So every single purse I have, I just have like one or one of these lip glosses. So I don't have to keep Bring, like taking them out, putting them back in, but figure to share my haul with you guys. So if you're in the market for a new foundation, try this one. I really like it. It's super lightweight. Love this one. And again, this is not sponsored. Just trying to help help my girls out. Also, since I'm talking products, I'm sharing my other absolute favorite one. If you need a hair protector, like if you're gonna curl your hair, put heat on your hair, straighten your hair, whatever, you need this. It's from IGK. It is the protein smoothing spray, guys. This is it, and it smells so good. Um, I don't know. I think they sell it. I think they sell it at Ulta. Maybe not Sephora. I think Ulta. This is where I buy them. Um, but yeah, you could probably also just get it like online or on Amazon or something. But this, swear by it. Y'all need it. Here's just a closer look, just so it's not like reversed when I had the front camera, but. Yeah, it is um, 450 Fahrenheit heat protectant. Amazing, y'all need this, I'm telling you. All right, this is the baby shower fit. I got this dress in Cincinnati like 
four years ago. <laughs> Paired it with boots. Oakley is having herself because she knows really, literally anytime I put shoes on, she knows we're about to head out of here. So sorry for the mess in here. All of Jack's like army uniforms. Ugh, okay. Are you ready? Oh, look at your outfit. Oh, I thought I locked her in here. Oh, really? <laughs> Sometimes we accidentally lock Oakley in this room, like, because this is pretty much Jack's closet, like the spare room. And so he'll be changing in here, and then she'll just, like, lay on the bed and, you know, do her cute little Oakley self, and we forget her. So I didn't even think, he didn't know I was vlogging in here. And so he went to see, look at her little feet. I can't, her little paws. But yeah, this is the fit, and we are hopefully going to be on time we've been a little late to places lately but we'll be okay oh i wish i could bring you Mumu. i found jack shirt on sale last weekend when i went to the mall with the girls and do a little spin do a little spin okay 17 dollars. make me holler <laughs> it was from um hollister but i don't like to buy them things with like big logos on it or anything and i noticed this one didn't have it didn't have the little birds so that's why i got it but it's cute he's wearing it no complaints he's got the biggest sleeves they had but <laughs> all right still about to pop it goes to the gym okay <laughs> jack you're wearing the shoes on the mm. <clears throat> why do boys do this why do men do this i don't you need to take the shoes off on the what is it called? The rug. You need, the to, take, rug. You need to take about 20% off that attitude. All right. Simmer down. It's now Sunday. Yesterday was an awesome day. We ended up going to the baby shower. Then we hung out with our friends at a new brewery. And it was funny because we went to the brewery and everyone's getting beer, whatever. And I saw that they sold like lattes, like nice lattes. So what did I get? The latte. So I'm the girl who will go to a brewery and if coffee's offered, I'm, I'm gonna get that. But I did get one, I don't even remember what I got. Honestly, it was something that my friend Jill got and then I just copied her drink. So I don't even remember what it was. I'm not a huge beer drinker to be quite honest. So it was probably something like closer to a cider, but yeah, we had a really fun time with our friends. And then this morning we woke up, we went to the gym again. I went to my one class that I really love. It's like a 9.15 class on Sunday. So I always do that one. And then we ran some errands and we also napped because it's daylight savings. Daylight savings really throw me off. I We took a nap plus daylight savings. It's just, we're everywhere. So now it's, is it 6.42? 7.42, 7.42 it's 7.42 right now. And we are in the process of making like a bolognese right now. I probably should have vlogged this for you guys because this is actually Jack's dad's recipe. We asked him his sauce. I should, honestly, like my mom has a sauce and it's really good. Obviously she's like real Italian, but sometimes it's just too many steps. You know, like I just, we just wanted something real quick, real easy, and it tastes really good. Like I mean, it's, sorry, Oakley just had a bark and I was trying to, I try to not make her bark a lot on the vlog because I know, mixed feelings but anyways so we are making this bolognese for dinner i'm trying to, i'm trying to stir this with my left hand and i cannot do this i am right-handed jack took the lead on the bolognese tonight because i was going to start editing the vlog so he's like yeah it's okay I'll, I'll start cooking and then he told me to just like stir it because he's running to walmart right now to get the rest of the stuff that we need for tomorrow's dinner so tomorrow's dinner is one i am gonna vlog it's a new recipe that we are trying so if it's good i'll include it if it's not then i won't so it's gonna be an easy like put everything in a pan and throw it in the oven kind of deal so i thought that would be a good one to share with you guys i know you guys love the meal prep recipes and i do too so if you guys have any fun ones that you've tried that you love please let me know in the comments below we're always looking to try some new stuff. Tomorrow's not gonna be the healthiest recipe I've ever vlogged because we are using like tortellini in it, but it'll still be very good nonetheless. So today I also got a new package in the mail from Olive and June. They are the sweetest. They always hook me up with the best nails and polishes. And in this one, this is their bridal collection. They have these um, nail art stickers. How cute. This is gonna be so perfect for like bachelorette or our bridal shower, whatever. Or even if you're just in, like if you're a bridesmaid, this would be so fun to just put all these on the girl's nails. And then they sent like very bridal-esque colors, which I love because I would wear these anyways aside from just being a bride like these are like the colors i gravitate to so i love all of these and they sent four new um like glue on nails these are so cute i always go for the light colors except for right now which i need to take these off they're already looking terrible after i'm done with this you know i, I kind of go back and forth um 
but I can't wait to put these back on. I obsessed with this one with the little flower detail. This is going to be so pretty. Um, and this would just be such a fun gift to give like bridesmaids or, you know, just the day of like, hey, you don't have to worry about spending $80 to go get your nails done. Here's a pack and all the girls could even match. So I thought this was really fun. They also sent their polish checklist guide. Like, look how many colors they have. It's insane. So many options to choose from and the polishes last really well they don't chip like immediately like most polishes do and they're manic like the glue on ones these are my favorite i just i love glue on manicures you know me i have been trying them all with working at the jewelry store for the past eight ish months or so i've been on the ball with glue on nails and yeah i really really love the olive and june ones my mom put a pair on i think i vlogged it um back around christmas time and her manicure lasted more than two weeks mine did not last more than two weeks but i'm constantly like washing dishes and water all that kind of stuff you just take some glue and re-glue it on and bada bing bada boom you're good to go so anyways i just wanted to share this new package from olive and june and i wanted to thank them for sending the sweetest package my way especially my bridal era these will all be put to good use and speaking of bridesmaids we're finally getting around to asking our wedding party to be our bridesmaids groomsmen I'm so excited. I finally feel like it's starting to all come together. I'm just waiting on a couple other things to come in the mail because I'm doing one of those cute little bridesmaid proposal boxes, which I will be sharing on the channel once I put them all together. I'm waiting for one more thing to come in the mail. I'm gonna put them together. I'll vlog that, send them out. Once they get them, then I'll share it on the vlog because I don't want to ruin it. I don't think I'm actually gonna do a big bachelorette party or anything like that. I've been thinking about it for a while and Honestly, it's just, it's expensive. I'd rather just do like, most of my bridesmaids already live in Florida. So what I'm thinking is I'll just plan it for a weekend I'm already in Florida. Like maybe we'll all just drive down to Miami, have some drinks, have a night out, go to a rooftop bar, something like that. Or maybe just even do like a beach day and then call that the bachelorette and I'll just wear like a white bathing suit and tell everyone to come in hot pink or whatever. So that's my thought on it. I do think Jack is going to have a bachelor party. He wants to go on like a fishing trip in the Destin slash Florabama shore area. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, that's where we're at right now. We are so close to getting our engagement photos back. So once we get those back, I'm going to start making save the dates and we're going to get the save the dates out. We get the invitations out. So it's finally all coming around. All I need to do is book the DJ and a hair and makeup person. So if you guys have any recommendations in the South Florida area, please let me know. It is Monday. Oakley wouldn't let us start this without her being in the shot. So here we are, the whole fam is here. We are gonna make our five ingredient dinner. While Jack is drumming, I will be putting it all together. I got my tripod there and uh, let's bring you along. It's gonna be a good one. It's kind of off of that viral feta, tomato, cheese, one pan dinner thing but we found it with Borzen. I don't know anything about that cheese. I just got it because the <laughs> recipe said it. It's good, I know that. It looks good. So uh, we are influenced by Instagram. I will put the link to the recipe we're following in the description box. <laughs> looks amazing and it's the easiest cleanup. Are you excited? Excited. Because you did none of the work. Yeah. <laughs> no, usually you are the chef, so my treat. Let's go. We're ending Monday night watching The Bachelor. Classic. And Penny is just living her best life. This is her daughter, 
Katie's daughter. Sure is. So we ended last night with bachelor night and now I am just getting off of work. Jack and I are running a few errands. I feel like every time I'm on the vlog, we're just running errands or I'm just sitting in this car, but Oakley looks so cute. We just got her a little pup cup from Duncan. Did you guys know that you have to pay a whole dollar for a pup cup at Duncan, but at Starbucks it's free? Or is it just because Starbucks drinks are more expensive and so you're kind of already paying for it in the drink? I don't know. Anyways, Jack was like, she's worthy of the dollar pup cup. And yes, she has drank enough water. She just always gets like really weird and a little anxious in the car, but she is a-okay. We're trying to get her outside a little bit more. It's so nice here in New York right now. Like the weather has been beautiful. So we've definitely been letting her run around outside a little bit more than usual. She has a vet appointment later this week. Poor thing is getting a couple shots, boo. But it was funny because um, PetSmart called me. I take her to like the Banfield, you know what I'm talking about? And they were like, you have to add your spouse on there. Um, so I had a call to add Jack because Jack's the one dropping her off because I'll be working. And she was, they were like, okay, Jack Bounds is now authorized to drop off Miss Oakley at her appointment. So Miss Oakley has her appointment this week. And then next week we got to get her groomed because she's looking a little, a little raunchy. But Okay, I don't know why I came on here. I really just came on to chat about the fact that her pup cup was a dollar. I just thought that was funny and I didn't, I never knew they charged you for pup cups, but this is how I'm ending the vlog because it's now Tuesday night and, or Tuesday evening, and I have to finish editing this, this thing and get it on the vlog for y'all because, guys, let me tell you, like, I've just been really busy with work and I just feel like I vlog a lot more on the weekends so it's really just like weekend vlogs in my life so i hope you don't mind that i still try to provide the same sort of content in terms of like providing a recipe just my daily life you know the the workouts let me know what you guys want to see more always open to ideas thank you guys for the love and support oakley and i will see <laughs> i can't oakley and i will see you next wednesday bye